In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called graphing an exponential function and its asymptote f of x equals a times e to the x minus b plus c. We're given the function g of x and we're asked to graph it by plotting two points on the graph and also to draw the asymptote. And since we can choose any two points for our function g of x, we can choose a friendly number and I know that when this exponent x plus 2 is 0, then e to the 0 will be 1. So I can intentionally choose a value for x here, negative 2, so that the e will be raised to the 0 power. And that would give us g of negative 2, which is 1 half e to the negative 2 plus 2, so e to the 0 minus 4. And now simplifying e to the 0 is 1, so 1 half times 1 is 1 half. Bring down the minus 4. 1 half minus 4 would give us a negative 3.5, or 3 and a half. And then to choose a second number for x, when we substituted negative 2, it gave us e to the 0. Another relatively easy value would be e to the 1, and that would happen when x equals negative 1. So substituting in negative 1 for x would give us 1 half e to the negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 would be our 1 and keeping the minus 4. So here we could simplify to e over 2 minus 4. To graph both of these on the number line, I'll start with the coordinates negative 2, negative 3 and a half, and put a point in that approximate space. For the second coordinate, I want to know the approximate value of that e over 2 minus 4. And since e is approximately 2.72, in the same way that we often approximate pi with 3.14, 2.72 divided by 2 is 1.36 minus 4 is a negative 2.64. So it's an approximate negative 2.64 when x is negative 1, negative 2.64, we can see that this is going up. For my asymptote, I can see that our g of x function, which would normally have an asymptote of 0, has been shifted down 4 units. So our asymptote would be at negative 4. And I can see that it's getting close to that asymptote to the left and then increasing exponentially as x values get larger.